Here is the system of a wireless control of temperature, illumination and other parameters based on the Fleet Tracker ADM007 Bluetooth and the Sensei ADM31 working with the Bluetooth low energy and not requiring any wired connection. The system is primarily used for transportation of medicine, perishable produce, temperature control on buses and in other objects. You should understand that if you are planning to use such a system for monitoring a refrigerator, so you will need to install several sensors ADM31 to control the temperature along the entire length. Now we will tell you how to set such a system. For setting we will be using the program ADM Configurator, which you can download at our website. By the way, you can do the same remotely with SMS commands. After supplying the power to your tracker, we are connecting it to the configurator. No wired connection is needed for working with the tracker, because all the connection is done via Bluetooth. After connecting the tracker, we are switching on the sensors. Then we need to set the data exchange between sensors and the tracker. This may be done automatically, so that all the sensors within the tracker's range will be added. However, if you don't need this, you should perform a manual setting. We'll show you both ways. We will set the first sensor manually. We are passing to the command window and write the command blue sensor space sensor address. The sensor address is indicated on its sticker. The address is inserted without column. In response, we can see that the sensor has been added. We will add the other sensors automatically with the command blue autocatch. You can check the added sensors with the command blue sensor. Then we need to set the data transmission from the tracker to the server. In this case, we will be using the monitoring system Valon. Let's choose it in the server settings and enable temperature and illumination data transmission with the command protocol 72. We are passing to Valon, adding a new device, type of device, IMA. Data from the sensors are transmitted in the data block CAN. There are five fields for each sensor. Correspondence of these fields to the transmitted data is shown in the table on your screen. We are starting to add sensors. The first sensor is the temperature one. To convert negative temperature values, you should create in the sensor properties a calculation table based on the pattern shown on the screen. Then we add the illumination sensor. And the third sensor is the sensor of battery voltage. One sensor ADM31 has been added. You will have to do the same with all other sensors. Now let's check the settings. All the sensors are caught, all the data is displayed. The system is set and now we'll check how it works. Let's put the sensor in the mug with hot water and cover it. The sensor has a dust and moisture-proof housing, so this procedure is completely harmless to it. In the sensor laid application, you can observe in real time how temperature and illumination change. As you have probably guessed, temperature is displayed in a diagram on the left and illumination on the right. We can see that it's completely dark and the sensor is heating up gradually. The range of temperature measured is from minus 30 to plus 70 degrees with accuracy up to 0,5 degrees. Values of the curves are not changing anymore, so the sensor has been heated up and shows the current temperature of water. Now let's check the values. <laughs> 